Welcome to Med in 5 channel. The topic in this video will describe the lipids. Lipids are apolar biomolecules and have no electrical polarity. Having this trait, the lipids are lipophilic, which means being soluble in organic solvents, and hydrophobic as well, which means not soluble in water or non-organic solvents. A lipid molecule contains Carbon Hydrogen Oxygen The most essential classification of lipids, divides them in, simple lipids, compound lipids, and derived lipids. Simple lipids Are lipids that have in consistence only three elements, carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. For example, saturated fat. Here it is a saturated fatty acid with 16 carbon atoms. Notice the formula, carbon, 16 for the number of carbons, and 0 for the double bonds. Because a saturated fatty acid has no double bonds. This is palmitic acid. Another example of saturated fatty acid can be, stearic acid, the formula is carbon, 18 for the number of carbon and 0 for double bonds. Unsaturated fatty acid Let's take an example. Unsaturated fatty acid with 18 carbons. Notice the formula, carbon, 18 for the number of carbons and 2 for the double bonds. The double bond are written, delta, 9 and 12 showing the position. This is linoleic acid. Simple lipids include triglycerides as well. They are synthesized from three fatty acids, for example. Steric acid, linoleic acid, palmitic, and one molecule of glycerol. Triglycerides are major component in hyperlipidemia disorders. Compound lipids are the second type of lipids. They have in consistence, carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and other functional groups forming, phospholipids, sphingolipids, glycolipids, sulfolipids, aminolipids, and lipoproteins. Let's illustrate a phospholipid. This compound lipid is formed from a reaction between a triglyceride, an inorganic phosphate, and a specific biomolecule. In this case it is choline. This phospholipid is named phosphatidylcholine. Compound lipids have mainly structural function. Remember the phospholipids in cell membrane structure, or sphingosine compounds in axons covering. The third class are the derived lipids. Icosanoids, have various effects in human organism including fever, inflammatory response, and blood clotting as well. Steroids. They are essential in hormonal compounds. Ketones bodies. They are present in starvation conditions or specific diseases like, diabetes mellitus. Fat-soluble vitamins, vitamin A, D, E and K. Metabolism of lipids has several biochemical pathways. Exogenous lipids, which are dietary fat and cholesterol, reach the small intestine, undergo absorption, and afterward they reach body cells with the help of lipoproteins. Endogenous lipids are lipids provided by human body biosynthesis of fatty acids or cholesterol. Both of lipids, exogenous or endogenous, inside the cell can be used to undergo oxidation for energy provide form compounds with specific function or create deposits in adipose tissue the latter process is named lipogenesis when needed the adipose tissue can mobilize triglycerides and release fatty acids this process is lipolysis lipogenesis and lipolysis are bidirectional reactions this was a brief summary of lipids metabolism by Med in 5 team. Thanks for watching. For other videos like this, please click subscribe.